Okay, so you might have noticed that when you log into Google Meet this week, that there is a new icon that's added to, it's added to Google Meet, and it is a little activities icon located on the top right of the screen. So if I click on this activities icon, you're going to see now that we have the option of using breakout rooms with our students. So if I click on breakout rooms, you're going to see here now that there are options on how many rooms you could create. So if I click on four, you could see how Google Meet automatically um, puts students into separate breakout rooms. So you can make as many as you want. See the more that I make. Okay, I'm actually going to make three breakout rooms. So I'm going to choose this to three. And now I could uh, click on shuffle and put the students, and this actually puts the students in different breakout rooms. Or I could manually drag each student and put them in which breakout room I think they should be in. So if you already assigned groups, if this is a group activity and you have the students' names uh, and maybe there's four or three students to each group, you could manually drag them down to which group they belong to. So if I want uh, the student up to here, I could click on them, drag them. Okay, maybe I want to add this student here. Okay, or like I said, I could just click on shuffle. Now you could also rename the breakout rooms. By default, it says breakout one, breakout two. But if you just click there and hit the backspace button, you could uh, rename it. So I'm going to call this group A and then this one group B. And then this one, group C. Okay, so now that you're ready to, uh, you know, have the students break out in their groups, you're going to click on create. Okay, so when you click on create, you're going to see these, these little uh, circles revolving around, and that means that the student didn't accept the breakout room yet. So let me show you the student side. So right now this is the teacher side. The student side, let me show you. Okay, so you could see this student was asked to join breakout room B. So the student has to click on join. Now it says joining group B. And this is where the student is. Now you could see they have the same uh, options in their room, uh, you know, chat. If they click on breakout room here, they don't have any other options. If they want to leave the breakout room, they could click on return to main room. Okay, but you could see this student, if we go back to teacher mode, you see how this student is does not have... Um, a revolving little circle. That means a student already accept the invitation and they are in the group B breakout, breakout room. So now that you see here that this student accepted the invitation to group B because there's no circle around it. Okay, so as the other students uh, accept the invitation to their groups, you will see um, the circle disappear and you'll just see their icon. Okay, now if you want to join one of the sessions to pop in to see if the students are actually doing their work, you could actually click on the meet. So if we click on join group A, on the student side it says Dr. Wells has left the meeting because Dr. Wells now is joining the group A. So you the teacher are not in the main room anymore you're not in the main room anymore because you are in group A and you're going to, you know, you want to see what's going on in uh, the breakouts. So now if I want to leave this breakout, if I click here now, you see how it tells me what group I'm in. If I want to leave this now, I could leave it or I could join another room.
Now I want to join group B. I want to see what's going on in group B. So now you can see that I am in group B with another student. If I click on breakout rooms, I could see that I'm in group B. Now if I want to leave it, I'm going to click leave. And I'm returning to the main room. So anytime you um, want to return to the main room, you just click on leave. Now the teacher, which is you, you are back in the main room. And if all your students are in their breakout rooms, you won't see anybody here. Now, if let me switch back to student view. Now, if this student does not want to be in this breakout room anymore, you see at the top right, he could return to the main room where the teacher is. So I'm at me as a student, I'm going to click on return to main room. Now you can see the student is back in the main room with the teacher. Now, if I go back to teacher mode, when I want to end all the breakout sessions, I, I don't want them anymore. I'm going to click on breakout rooms. And once all my students are back, or if I don't want them, I, I could say, okay, um, you're going to be in your breakout rooms for 10 minutes and then I'm going to end it. So. You're going to click on End Breakout Rooms, End Breakout Rooms, and then what it's going to do is it's going to pull all the students out of their breakout rooms and put them back in the main room, okay? Now all the students are back in the room, and you can see um, it still says here that this is the order that you wanted them, but your students are all in, a break, in, are in the main room now because you don't see a breakout session on top anymore. So it has clearly ended. If you want to go back to the breakout rooms, you click on create. And this is how you set up breakout rooms with your students. Okay, you're probably wondering what happens if a student uh, denies the breakout room and they don't want to join it. And they deny the request to join the room. So I'm going to click create and I'm going to put the student in the breakout room. You can see here now that it's circling, which means the student did not accept the invitation. Let's go back into student view. Into student view. You can see here now, this is the student view, and I'm going to make believe I'm a student. I'm going to cancel it, that I don't want to join the meet. I'm going to click cancel. Now let's go back to teacher view. You can see here that it's still circling. Okay, so if I go back now to student, this student has been invited to breakout room, but he didn't accept it. But you could still see here that the invitation is still here. So you will know if your students um, have not accepted the invitation, if there's a circle that keeps revolving on their name. So if you still keep seeing the circle appear by their name, you could talk to the student because they will be in the main room and you could say, okay, you know, Jeremy, I see that you have not joined the breakout room. You must join it. And if he says, well, I, I don't know how to, you tell him that on the top of his screen, it says invited to breakout one, that he must simply click join.